In this video, I'll show you how to use the relationship diagram view in your projects. You know, in Microsoft Project, there's a powerful view called the Relationship Diagram View. However, I suspect most of us have probably looked at it once, didn't know what to do with it, and never looked at it again. But in this video, I'll show you how to use the Relationship Diagram View in a powerful way to analyze task dependency relationships. So let's get started. Have you ever tried using the relationship diagram view? Here's what I suspect most people do. They display the relationship diagram view and they get something like this. What? I have no idea what I'm looking at here and we give up and we never come back. Well, here's the secret. The relationship diagram view is never meant to be displayed as a single view, like this. It's actually meant to be used as a combination view with other views, like the Gantt chart view, for example. So let me show you the power of the relationship diagram view. First, I'm going to click the View tab to display the View ribbon, and then over in the right end, I'll select the Details checkbox in the Split View section. After doing that, then I'll click the Pick List, and I'll choose Relationship Diagram. Now, in this project, let me go ahead and scroll down to task number 52, and I want to show you how this view works in combination with the Gantt chart view. Notice that task number 52 has two direct predecessors. Those are the two that are shown on the left side of the relationship diagram view. And this task also has four direct successors that are shown on the right side of the relationship diagram view. Is that cool or what? How could you tell that just by looking at the Gantt chart view? You couldn't, but in combination with the relationship diagram view, you can see it easily. Now, let me show you how it gets even more interesting. Let me close the bottom pane, and I'll go to the task usage view. The trouble with the task usage view is you don't have a Gantt chart on the right side of the screen. Instead, you have a time-phased grid screen, and there's no way that you can determine task dependency relationships in this view, at least all by itself. But wait, I think you already know the trick. So once again, I'll select the Details checkbox. I'll click the Pick List. I'll choose Relationship Diagram, and there, using the Task Usage view, if I once again select Task Number 52, I can see clearly it has two direct predecessors, it has four direct successors. But wait, there's even more to this Relationship Diagram view. So let me go ahead and close the bottom pane. And let's bring up a resource view. In fact, let's use the resource usage view. We actually have a bigger problem here. On the right side of the screen, there's no Gantt chart screen at all. We cannot assess task dependency relationships. We're actually looking at a resource view with task assignments indented and italicized below each resource name. Gee, I'd sure like to know what the task dependency relationships are with this task assignment for CHB Electric Management. Once again, I think you already know the trick. I'll select the Details checkbox, click the Pick List, 
choose Relationship Diagram, and there you have it. This particular task assignment has one direct predecessor and three direct successors. So there is how to take advantage of the power of the Relationship Diagram View. Well, now you know how to use the Relationship Diagram View. The trick is you need to use it in a combination view, such as with the Gantt Chart View. If you learn something new, please say so in the comment section below. And if you have questions about this, ask your questions in the comment section below. I hope you'll share this video with your friends and colleagues so they can benefit as well. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.